Hey YouTube, Ravage here, and I'm ready to tear it up with you with another great invention. This is my M4 flamethrower. A friend of mine said, Rick, I bet you you can't make one that fits over your wrist. And I said, ha, I did it. I did it. And, oh my God, this thing is awesome. I mean, just, just awesome. I'm loving it. Everybody's already saying it's great. Well, I want to go ahead and skip right to it, and I'm going to show you what this baby can do. Turn the, turn on the fuel. Like that pilot. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Get in front of me. Get in front of me. Come on. Get in front of me. I love it. Absolutely love that. Okay. Got to wait for it to go off. But, anyways, um, I made this in about two days in a little time. Of course, when you have the proper components laying around, you know, in a brain like mine, um, basically, it is sink drains. Uh, bolted together at a certain distance. Um, uh, one hose clamp. Of course, your spray can gun. The aerosol of your choice. I choose. I, I've chosen starter fluid. Um, that's got a got a hell of a lot longer range than the kills that I was using. And of course, one propane tank. Um, I still have some battening down to do, making sure that it stays secure. But other than that, it is fully functional and ready for, for action. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And it's funny because not a lot of people can even fit their hand in there. That's the thing. Only I, I, I'm the only one right now who can stick my hand in there. My brother can't do it. My father can't do it. Um, so, yeah, it's basically made it for myself. Um, but yes, this is the M4 flamethrower, and I am very, very happy with it. And uh, go ahead and check out other videos that I've made. Um, I've got a bunch of other stuff that I've made. Um, please, please like and subscribe, and uh, I'll bring some great stuff to you next time. I'm Ravage, and thanks for tearing it up with me. See you later.